Moses Blaze, a gospel artist superstar, has been trending recently because of what happened here. Now, in case you don't know the story, let me give you a breakdown. So, an actress by the name Akene was getting married to her husband. Note, the husband is actually Catholic. You would understand that particular fact in this video as we get on with the conversation. She getting married, the MC of the occasion, who happened to be Deacon Famous, was actually the MC of the occasion. Deacon Famous invited Moses, please, because he knows that his friend, who happens to be the actress, loves listening to Moses, please, songs. And she just loves worship songs, which I think is very wonderful. Let me give you the gist after the intro. Give me the courage to insult back anybody that insults me. Amen. This right here have raised different reactions. Let me play for you what an Instagram person had to say as well about a particular situation. This is what the lady said. What is that? Let's assume that she was overly excited, kneeling down in front of a man who is outrightly not your father or your father-in-law, in the presence of your husband who has made himself your head, trying to indirectly say that you respect and honor this man as much as you respect and honor your husband. Do not know that the sign of kneeling down is a way of showing honor and respect to whom we are kneeling to. Assume that she was under the influence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit could not tell her to kneel down in front of her husband and worship God holding his legs. Look at the husband man you could outrightly tell that he wished the ground would open and swallow him didn't you go hug the person who invited this gospel minister everybody outrightly knows that a woman's makeup on her wedding day is so sacred this babe using her makeup to clean this man's jacket as if she was touching the hem of jesus garments a gospel minister not jesus himself not the lord himself religious and overly spiritual people irk me the day between you and your husband make somebody else feel special me that was outright disrespect and outright dishonor no. If I were in a sh I would have jumped on my man, hugged him, knelt down with him while I worshipped God. The gospel minister did his thing. You know what you guys think in the comment section? And like I always say, of course, women are women's problem. Men are men's problem. I don't know anyway. We are all each other's problem. For me to even be talking about this right now as well, I am some of his problem on this platform. <laughs> but let's, let's look at the case right here very well. So Moses Bliss himself came to an occasion where he was invited to surprise a person that is actually the one celebrating her wedding. And then for some reason, she knelt down for him, according to many people on social media in laws like you, saying that it was very disrespectful for her to do that in the presence of the husband. Anyway, I have a response from the husband as well, because the husband of the lady herself has spoken. So this video is actually with the Fujis together, so that we can have a nice conversation like we always do on this platform. So Dickin Femos came out and explained how he got to Moses to be there, knowing that have his friend, love to listen to Moses Bliss's song and he said one particular point that struck out in his own remarks about what social media took with the situation. This is what he said. As we get offended, not more all husbands are misogynistic like you or things like you. The husband went on his own knees to pray. Now, <clears throat> last night after the wedding, I went to drop Ekene's younger sister at home. Then when I got there, another of Ekene's sister was thanking me for all the things we did for the wedding and she went on her knees to say thank you in case you don't know some people just have this upbringing they know how to appreciate people they have that now that is it's like a training it doesn't leave them no matter how big they are no matter how much of a superstar they are they will still go on their knees to say thank you to people you know people do it when i don't see anything where they wrong so she went on bended knees for moses please no moses is not a god He's a music minister. She went on her knees. If like 
the moment Moses came into that hall, the entire atmosphere changed completely. Completely. Ekene was not the only person on her knees. So apparently, she has a particular attitude in her show of respect and honor to people kneeling down to honor them. So understanding the premise of what Deacon Femos had to say, it now begins to make sense that this is also part of her character because in this same video on the same day as well, they don't have to act this out for social media. She also knelt down for Deacon Femos in thanking him for making it possible that Moses Bliss, whom she loves and has been listening to, came to her own wedding. That itself is wonderful. So we can say here, based on this particular two premise, that it's a character trait in her person when it comes to her show of respect and honor. I'm just telling you the culture of where these particular things come from. Okay, let's look at what the Catholic priest had to say about a particular situation. And let's see if we get to agree on what he says as well. Because to some extent, I think he made sense scripturally understanding what we know on this platform happens when it comes to looking at pastors and the congregation or ministers and those who are followers. Let's look at that together. Instagram open. So Reverend Father Kevin Ubu said, you must have watched a trending video that portrayed the reaction of a bride at the sight of the gospel musician Moses Bliss, who appeared on her wedding day. The bride, the Kenya, was literally out of control at the sight of her supposed idol or powerful or anointed minister. He put that in quotes because, of course, that is the lingua franca, or that is the lingo. Moving on right here, he says, the video says a lot about the bride and more about the minister because he is focused on the minister. And that is where he goes to come with scripture because these kind of things, of course, can happen. But the essence of this video right now, as you are watching me, is for you to learn. Not for you, the followers, to per se, but for the ministers themselves because I know the eyes that watch this platform. Shebi? Okay, I just saw you right now. Thank you. Welcome. Yes, a lot of women and indeed men are lacking in emotional intelligence, emotional maturity and emotional control. Some are just over dramatic. Some women will even join to organize their engagement party and still act surprised when the man will ask, will you marry me? <laughs> hey, father, you just came with Woto Woto. Eh? Okay, let me go on here. He goes on to say right here, but while most of you choose to dwell on the lady's reaction, the most, most, what most of you fail to look at is the minister. If you look at that video very well, he says here, yeah, I'll keep saying this, ministers these days make themselves gods and are even excited when they are seen as such. I think we have talked about it here many times. Anytime I even talk about a minister myself, whether gospel minister, music minister, whatever minister, so far as there is something of God, part of there. Some of you don't even know that me, myself, I am a man of God. You don't even know that you yourself watching me that you are a man of God. Anytime I talk about man of God like this, if people want to tear my clothes, you want to, you want to give me basbos. Why? What have I done to you? Eh? <laughs> don't mind me. We are all one family. Moving on right here, he says here, even the Bible's even in Bible days, people get overexcited about the apostles and disciples, but they were always quick to correct the impression and remind the people that they were ordinary men. In Acts 10, Peter visited Cornelius. The man was excited and even fell to his feet, but Peter corrected him immediately. As Peter entered the house, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet in reverence, but Peter made him get up. Stand up, he said, I am an I am only a man myself. Paul and Barnabas, after performing great signs among the people, the people were so excited that they concluded that gods had come in form of human in human form. They came out in numbers to worship Paul and Barnabas, but what did the apostles do? Acts 14, of course, explains that. In the training video, the minister was busy enjoying the show. When you see something that is not right, correct it immediately. That's the main point. Others will learn from it. The way the lady was so excited, kneeling and hugging the minister, even before her husband, was not supposed to be funny. Interesting. But this is what happens when ministers make themselves superstars. Talking about the subject of superstars right here, this particular minister said something I came across on Instagram. Recently, I've been spending some time on Instagram. If you have been following me on social media, I know that I don't really exist that much on Instagram, but I'm trying to be visible over there so that I, of course, connect with people also on other platforms other than YouTube here where everybody just wants to beat me up. This is what he said here. Theophilus. I'm sorry to say this. You have not noticed. You have not noticed. 
that many of our ministers they are behaving like celebrities. Yes, you, you, you travel somewhere, you travel somewhere, you will snap and put on you. You snap yourself in aeroplane. Snap yourself in hotel. You think you are a tourist. You are not a tourist. You are a missionary. You don't, you, you don't know what you are doing. You think, you think that is breakthrough. If you know what it means to represent Elohim, you will be afraid. Now, I don't know if music ministers like this can come out and say something without there being an example. Did he mention any name? No. And don't try connecting this to Moses Bliss because Moses Bliss does the same thing. No. I'm just saying the idea of superstar. Moving on right here, he continues to say right here that I kept saying this and someone will come and tell me I am jealous. The Bible is clear. It says, so you also, when you have done all that is commanded you, say, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what, what was our duty. Hallelujah. Facebook television hashtag. Interesting. What do you think about what Father has said? At least Father spoke his mind, but at the point of him speaking here, I don't think he has seen the video of um, the same lady herself kneeling for her friend who is Deacon Famous, who invited even Moses Bliss to come here. Are you getting the point now? So, but even from the aspect, the perspective of what he saw, at least to a great extent, he made sense here scripturally. That's why for me on this platform, like we always do here, when we look at cases and discuss about them, it's really important that to a great extent, we try to be a balance. I as a presenter have to be balanced so that I stay in a position whereby I can see things from all sides and bring the facts to you so that while you are having the conversations in the comment, you are doing that with facts, not being biased. Are you getting the point now? But this is what the husband had to say. And I was surprised myself. Let's look at what the husband said. When God is involved, everything becomes rosy. She, he called out um, a Kennedy wife. God bless you, Deacon Famous and Moses Bliss. Thank you for surprising my wife. God bless you. Please, all of you should close your mouth. So the husband has reacted. When the man himself speak, everybody shut up. So social media in-laws that want to come and defend Oga or come and do justice for the husband, justice for the husband, justice for Ekenet's husband, justice, justice. Oga say all of you should shut up before you start putting katakata in his, his, in his new marriage now. You don't know if him marrying this madam now is... is did, I just, did I just say it's an award? Did I just say it's an achievement? I didn't say it. Mm -mm. Don't say it. Mm -mm. Don't say it. So him marrying the wife here is actually a, 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 something he, he, he adores. So I don't know why social media will be putting katakata in, in their marriage. Jesus was present and I kept his seat for him in my in my marriage hall. After all, he loves attending. After all, he loves attending wedding ceremonies and Mary and Mother Mary, my own queen mother, was there to make sure my water turned into wine. Thank you, my Jesus. Oh, thank you, my Jesus. So he loud. Jesus gave them something to talk about. Only you, I will serve forever and ever. Amen. So, but sir, in case you are watching, the idea of this is becoming popular because your wife is an actress. Now, I don't know the wife as an actress. I just they just say actress. Say, Can I, Guinea, Guinea, Guinea. So either ways, ever since the new Nollywood now, I don't know what is happening there, but I know about the old Nollywood and the old faces we have. But by the way, as well, talking about Nollywood, one of our legends is not feeling fine. Please, let's remember him in our prayer. Um, Mr. Ebu recently has also not been feeling fine and is recovering as well. Our legends are going. Please, let's pray for them. But also, based on this right now, you see that um, the husband's reaction, of course, makes everything much clearer. And it doesn't matter whether you are Catholic, whether you are Presbyterian, Protestant, uh, Apostolic, whatever faction you are in Christianity. I think to a great extent, hey, look at how this one exposed me now. Uh, I know you are not your flower. You just expose me like this to the people. Eh? Ordinary video, you will not stay one place. You... So, 
no matter whatever Christian faction you are, I think it's also important that um, when it comes to our values as Christians, we hold it to a high esteem. And um, had it been the example of her also kneeling down for Deacon Famous and even her sister kneeling down for Deacon Famous, probably you will not know that this is actually a tradition or a culture for them when it comes to, you know, but um, prostrating before people they honor or they respect, you understand? So for her, if she respects you and honors you, she will kneel down for you. So we are expecting that actress Sekene will be kneeling down for her husband. Maybe, uh, honey, your breakfast is ready or she will kneel down and serve it. Or maybe if they have any problems in their marriage, which I'm not wishing for, she will kneel down and beg, you know? Probably the husband understands this and doesn't have an issue with that because she has a kneeling down ministry herself when it comes to her personality. So why are we worried? Yoruba, Yoruba people but should be out of respect, they prostrate for those who are their seniors. So it's okay. And I'm not here to criticize anything. I'm just here to react to what I'm seeing. And of course, you can use the comment to tell us what you think as well. My name remains George. I'm your host. And one day I will see you later. Forgive me, my dear friends, because I have not been very consistent on the platform here, posting on YouTube like I normally do, because I've been busy on a lot of things.